Hey guys, welcome to Honeycomb. My name is Keo, and today we're gonna be taking a look at this new Jordan sneaker here. This is the Jordan Delta 2. Do us a favor, and if you're enjoying the content on our channel, click the subscribe button that goes a long way for us and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'd love to answer them. Or if you have this pair and you've been enjoying it or you have some comments about it, leave a comment down in the comment section down below so that other people who watch the video can also benefit from your input as well. All right, follow along on Instagram. I'm at KO Kosha on Instagram. Follow at Ajima Mag on Instagram and follow Honeycomb Manila as well, which is just our studio here in Double Dragon Plaza, Pasay City, the Philippines. And so here's the box and it says Jumpman. And then here you have kind of a Debose 00023 and just kind of the outlines. On the label, it says Jordan Delta 2 in the platinum tint slash dark smoke gray colorway now this pair was sent over to me by nike so disclaimer there however they do not have any influence on uh what we say i'll always say my truth with that said let's talk about these sneakers so open up the box and we open up the paper and there's a sneaker so the jordan delta is their react lifestyle sneaker this is the delta 2 so there was a delta last year and this is this year's version now they are a lifestyle sneaker a general release that they make lots of and they are a lifestyle silhouette now as with most nike sneakers there are no really true lifestyle silhouettes if you wanted to go out and do a little bit of sports in these i don't think there would be a problem i think you'd do okay with them especially in this pair now let's talk about um, the tech specs of this sneaker to get things started off. First, you have a big fat React outsole. It is a lot of React and it's not heavy at all, but it's one of these strange things where when you put it on a scale up against other sneakers, it's the same weight as other sneakers, but in hand, it feels really light for some reason. So they did a good job of balancing like the heavy, um, luxurious elements here with the technical and light elements of the sneaker. On that outsole, you have these pods here for the high wear areas. You can see there's already some dirt from when I wore this to test it out. And that is a very, very sturdy, hard rubber for the outsole and then a lot of exposed React. Now, if you have experience with the React sneakers, you know that they do this a lot and have a lot of exposed React over some time that can look a little bit beat up. So they put these pods for uh, for maybe a little bit extra traction, but that's more about protecting the React and allowing it to last longer, especially in those high wear areas. React, of course, is a very responsive, very cushiony, very marshmallowy uh, feeling to your sneakers, and they will provide all day comfort. This is an all day sneaker. Now, moving up through the midsole, you can see here at the top, there's kind of this TPU section that holds your foot in place for lateral movements. And then you have a little bit of that in the React on the other side. And that's one of the reasons why I'm saying this is probably a really true athleisure sneaker where you can do athletics and you can do le leisure as well, or you can do leisure and a little bit of sport and athletics in them. Um, the design is very much influenced by the previous uh, Delta One, the Jordan Delta, which featured very heavily some very nice a suede paneling on them and they've brought that back with the delta 2 and we have some really nice thick cut luxury suede here going throughout the toe here on the eye stay and um, basically all of this dark gray is done in that nice thick suede and then afterwards up here on the rest of the eye stay you have a short cut suede i think like they call that like a short trim suede uh, leather overlay for the eye stays and that same kind of short hair suede is what they're using here on the heel section and this heel tab that kind of lifts up now sections that are not suede are done in this mesh and it's a very breathable mesh with these holes to give a lot more breathability so they did a really good job of balancing kind of these luxury leather materials which tend to be hot with these ventilation sections there's a jump man here on a tag and then you have some nice embroidery that says Jordan on one side and 23 on the medial side of the sneaker. On foot, I would consider this an all day sneaker. They do fit true to size. 
Uh, for me, that's a 9.5. I'm 9.5 by 9.5. Go through the size if you can. I wouldn't recommend fluctuating too much on this sneaker because um, if, I don't know if you can tell how giant that React midsole is. And if you went up too far, it might be too chunky. If you have the option to try them on, do do that, of course, to be sure. Now, another tech spec that doesn't really get mentioned a lot is that this actually has a dual lacing system, which means that it has the speed lacing system that we're familiar with from the Jordan 11. And that means that you can just pull these laces and it'll cinch up really quickly, right? And uh, But you also have the eye stays from like a standard lacing system. So if you wanted to move your laces from your, your you know, fast lacing system, um, then you could if you wanted that aesthetic. So you actually can wear it both ways. And then on the tongue tab, you have that inspired by greatness designed for flight. The tongue is made out of a mesh with all of these holes in it, makes it very breathable. And you can see that that's kind of a theme for this sneaker is that they really wanted to, to build what I think is a summer sneaker. Um, something that you can wear day to day, wear all day to work, lifestyle and then maybe go straight from the street to play a little bit on the court that all works really well in this sneaker aesthetically as i mentioned this is from kind of the design sensibility of that jordan jumpman 23 uh, engineer 23 is i think the name uh, and you see a lot of these tags on like the jumpman 23 stuff where there's like inverted numbers right and upside down logos and stuff and seeing that design sensibility here really kind of uh informs us that okay that's the aesthetic that we're doing here it's an almost like a like a sports tech wear uh lifestyle approach to the sneakers last year i talked about the jordan 34 low being a potential tech wear option um but you know it is a basketball shoe that is a sport forward shoe this is not a basketball shoe this is a lifestyle forward shoe and i think that the technical approach of this sneaker with the high-tech react foam and this nice mesh blended with these luxury elements make it a good choice for um for those tech wear vibes if you want especially with just these like subtle hits of color with this nice teal and purple what's the color that they called it here I believe they call it platinum tint. I think that's the green, maybe, is platinum tint. I'm never sure about these colors. I'm really never sure. Um, but let's just call them as they are. It's a light gray, a light teal, a light uh, purple, like lavender color. And uh, yeah, the sneaker looks really clean. It's an excellent choice for a day-to-day -day wear. They're not difficult to buy. They will eventually be on sale. And if you can get them on sale, they're a steal especially for react sneakers at this quality this is an all day all night sneaker a nice beater for you to use on an ongoing basis don't be too precious with them uh, they are great for all day wear especially with that thick fat chunk of react in the midsole and then those nice luxury vibes i've been looking at this sneaker and trying to see if there's any tribute to uh, to any of the other like Jordan legacy sneakers and I don't really see them here if you have any ideas let me know in the comments down below and if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below I'd love to answer them for you my name is Ko. follow at Ko Kosh on Instagram follow at Ajima Mag as well and follow at Honeycomb Manila which is this our studio in Double Dragon Plaza and hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet that goes a long way for us I wish you guys good luck I wish you guys good health peace